Welcome back to Reality with the Twist. I'm Ben. I'm Gunner. I'm Gabriel. And I'm Dylan. And the first thing I want to say is that intro theme that you just heard is officially the new intro that Dipome made specifically for us. Yes. Yes. That's Round of applause. Cool. Round, Round of applause. Of applause. Thank you. I know I'm really excited for it. Yes. Sounds like yeah, I think you guys are too by the by the sound of it. A little too excited, if you know what I mean. Uh, I I mean this is specifically made for us, nobody else. Just us. And I mean I I, I really like the sound of the stoop by Audio Binger, but like come on. It's it's like royalty free music. Uh and I I just think this is so much more special. I'm so excited that we're moving forward with this one. Me too. It's it's honestly really cool to be, I mean, this early into into making our podcast and we've already got our own custom intro sound. I mean, I'm and really sp- happy about it. And speaking of that, if you guys don't mind, if if I if I interrupt before our first segment, um, we bought an ad. <laughs> we bought two ads on a popular Instagram meme page. Um, so if you are coming from that, welcome. Um, Hello. We actually bought both of those right before episode nine, but we couldn't, you know, talk about it episode nine because we usually record these a pretty good deal before we upload them. Um, but yeah, so it worked pretty well. <laughs> Do you guys agree? Yeah, I mean, honestly, yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I don't think it's going to be something we regularly do. I just thought it'd be funny. Um, and a lot of people were commenting on the <laughs> the oh reality twist. Reality with a twist is one of the podcasts ever. Like we made a mistake by saying that, but like that was literally like the joke. We did that in both of them as the joke. <laughs> so I just wanted yeah. to bring that up. Welcome everyone. Yeah, welcome. Yes, well, welcome one, welcome all. Exactly. Uh, before we get into the uh, meat of this podcast, we're going to get into today's Jeremy update. Yes. Um, for those of you who may be new to the podcast, just to refresh, uh, Jeremy is one of our best friends. So, uh, Jeremy um, started off by telling us that there is a Spanish couple that they're currently teaching um, who will be getting married, uh, I believe, this Thursday. Ooh. And then soon after that, they're going to be baptized. Uh, nice. So, uh, that's, a, that's a win for everyone there. Very Sounds big like. Congrats, yes. Yeah. Uh, and then moving on, everyone that they're wanting to meet with right now is on vacation. So that's making things a little tough for them. Mm-hmm. Uh, another little problem they had was that Google Maps took them to an address in the middle of nowhere, which led them to a barren field. Um, not sure where Classic. they were trying to go, but uh, yeah, barren field. Yikers. Is, yeah, yeah, seriously. Yikers indeed. <laughs> Certified yikers moment. <laughs> Um, yeah, and then uh, finally, they went to a place called Escalante, Utah. I guess that's also known as Bryce Canyon National Park. Mm. They said it was a two-hour drive, and on the drive, they listened to some of our podcasts to pass <gasps> the time. No Ooh. way. No way. We've infiltrated the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. I have a message for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints members. Take off your shirts. <laughs> 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 we're kidding members of the church yeah, of jesus for, christ for, for legal reasons that was a joke please do not do that, for, that all is reasons. for every single reason that was a joke <laughs> <laughs> um hey, yeah, so members of the church of jesus christ of latter-day saints take off your socks <laughs> no 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 <laughs> Guys, um, honestly, I feel like this is a little disrespectful considering Jeremy's recent passing. Uh, yeah. We should probably. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry. Cut that out. 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 I might, out. Just, put a, I might just put a bleep in because that's so funny. <laughs> what if you put another bra over that? Yeah. <laughs> or like the vine boom sound effect. I've been wanting to use the vine boom. <laughs> Holy boom. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, let, let's just try to keep things a little respectful. Um, of course. In honor of Jeremy's memory. Um, <laughs> this this update was one of the uh, last ones that we got from him yeah. before it all happened. Um, this, the spaghetti accident. 
don't worry, guys. We'll get another one from him next week. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's all right. Jer- Jeremy's fine. Jeremy's fine. He has passed, but fortunately, he's going to be okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Are you guys ready to uh, <laughs> You guys ready to get into it? Yeah, I love yes. the, the weird uh, muted gunner laugh that like came in super <laughs> quiet. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's get into it. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so... Uh, as some of you may remember from a previous episode, I think it it might have been uh, episode eight, maybe nine. No, no, no I think it was eight. Um, I talked about how we were going to be discussing height in this episode. Hmm. Um, this all stems from another previous episode where uh, Gunner told me that he hated me because I was short. Ah, uh, and yeah. that one really cut deep. So um, hey, it's true. <laughs> Yeah. Hey Gunner, you're, you're, you don't seem like a kind of person to hate somebody for something like that. No, well, to be on Gunner's side, we all kind of don't like Ben for his size. So, <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> rather small. I'm trying to do better. I think, I think Ben is a completely average size, if not a little bit above average. I mean, his personality is good. <laughs> All right, let's get into it, please. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So something that I thought would be uh, interesting to do um, was just have everybody first off tell everyone what your height is. Uh, Dylan, oh. would you like to start? Yes, I, I, I would love to start. Thank you, Ben. Well, you see, I uh, am a little bit tall for my size. I am six foot three. That's what my doctor tells me. Okay. Uh, I mean, there's nothing more about it. That's it. I am exactly six foot. Um, and my dad is six foot one. So I'm assuming eventually I'll be six foot one. But right now I'm exactly six foot. I am six two. However, I am the exact same height as Dylan. So I might be six three. I haven't really measured myself in a while, but my driver's license says I'm 6'2". Uh, and then as for me, uh, I stand at a tall, uh, like a 5'6", maybe like a low 5'7", something like that in that area. Um, <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> ben? <laughs> huh? You're, you're what? <laughs> I didn't say anything. That was Gunner. What? <laughs> Jesus <laughs> God! Where are we going here, guys? <laughs> Gabe, what's your question? I, I, I'm so lost. I thought you were ben? talking that entire time, Ben. Were you not? Guys, I was. And then, <laughs> guys, we have. We. It's only been a week and a half. We should not be like this. <laughs> All right. Okay. Gabe, I think you got thrown off by Gunner saying cringe. Is that no, what happened? No, I didn't even hear Gunner say cringe. I, I can <laughs> say it again. All right, say it again. Please. Cringe. I, I was thrown off by you saying you're 5'6 or 5'7. Yeah. I thought you were 5'9. No, 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 no. I'm not 5'9. That's generous, Gabe. What? He does not look 5'6 <laughs> or 5'7. Wow. Wow! Can't believe you'll discredit Ben's truth. I feel like I feel like this is all an odds that you guys put together to make me believe yeah, that. Okay, Gabe, <laughs> now you're just making it hurtful, okay? <laughs> Gabe, you're just incredibly paranoid at the moment. <laughs> G- Gabe, who hurt you the past few days that you're at this point? Okay, let's just keep, let's just keep going. <laughs> I don't believe a single thing you guys are saying. Let's just keep going. <laughs> Guys, it's working great. Okay. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so uh, following up with the height, um, now everybody knows how tall we are. Um, I thought we would just talk about some of the our personal pros and cons with uh, our own heights and maybe um, just tell us if if you could, would you, would you change your height? Would you be a little taller, be a little shorter or what? Um, so uh, I guess we could just go in the same order. Um, Dylan, uh, what what kind of personal stories do you have with your height? 
personal stories about my height. Ooh. Um I don't really I don't know. I nothing too crazy has happened with my height before. Besides, you know, the typical how's the weather out there from my grandparents. Um <laughs> That's I, one of my least favorite things to hear. Yeah, I I can agree. It's like, I, it's like if I had a not a dime for every time I've heard like "How's the weather up there?" or something along those lines, I I probably have about ten dollars. It's not a lot, but it's crazy that it's happened that many times. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, if you could, would you change your height? Oh no, I'm very happy with being tall. As for me, okay. I think the world was built for somebody around my height because um, I think the average height of of uh, a guy right now is what ten five ten and like a half or three quarters or something like that. So you know, in that general vicinity, I think the world was really made for somebody my height. So I I don't dislike my height at all, but I guess just because my dad is six one, I'd like to eventually be six one. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm very happy being six foot even, except for people don't believe me when I tell them. I'm six even because then they're like, oh, you must be like five ten and just exaggerating a few inches. Uh, if you could change your height, would you? Um, yeah, like I said, I, it may be just like one inch so I could be as tall as my, you know, because my dad's six one. So just so I could match him. But yeah. All right. Makes sense. What about you, Gunner? Um, I think I have the exact same situation as Dylan. Like I hate people commenting on my height, like as if I already didn't know. Um, and so <clears throat> especially old people, they'll tell me how tall I am. Like no way. Um, and then, but it is nice to be, uh, you know, six, two, six, three, something like that. Um, because I never have to worry about, um, uh, not meeting the height requirement in dating. Um, mm. You know, uh, some people set that bar high, and I always meet it. So, <laughs> what if somebody set it at six four? I would be in a tricky situation, but yeah. I've, I've, I've never encountered somebody who set it at six <laughs> four. <laughs> so, uh, I take it you would probably keep the same height then, if you could. I would. I'm I'm perfectly fine with my height. Okay. All right. How about you, ben? Um, yeah, as for me, um, obviously, I, I growing up, I used to be a lot more self conscious about my height, I guess. <laughs> um, but honestly, I'd say probably late high school or <clears throat> early college, I kind of just put it all behind me, and I really don't care anymore. That's um, good. I'm. Yeah. No. I mean. I am actually perfectly fine with my height. Um, if I had the chance to change it, maybe I would add like maybe maybe an inch or t- just so I could be like closer to like the average. Because mm-hmm. um, when somebody says, "Oh yeah, I'm five eight, you don't go like, "Wow, that, that's a short guy." Um, <clears throat> so I mean, maybe for that aspect, I would. But honestly, as I am now, I'm perfectly fine with my height. Um, that's good. Yeah. Yeah, so um, I guess now we can move into uh, the uh, the more anticipated one for me. Um, we're going to have a segment where uh, we're going to, or I'm going to list off some celebrities that match all of our heights. Oh. I guess I'll just go uh, in the same order that we just went. So uh, Gunnar and Dylan, you guys are both the same height. So I picked out five celebrities that are also your exact height. Okay, so we have Will Ferrell, Bob really? Saget. Oh, okay. <laughs> Toby Keith, Doctor Phil, and Dwayne the Rock Johnson. The Rock. <laughs> I actually knew Dwayne Johnson was our height. I don't know why, but I I already knew that. <laughs> um, I knew that Will Ferrell was our height as well. Because I looked up Will Will Ferrell like two days ago. <laughs> I saw his height. Unrela- unrelated reasons. <laughs> uh, just very unrelated reasons. Yeah. Can Can I ask why you just looked up Will Ferrell? Uh, um, I was watching The Office with my mom, and uh, 
I think I'm going to end it right there because I don't want to spoil the office. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's been long enough, but I respect it. All right. Uh, moving on to Gabe. Yes. Gabe, you are the same height as Dr. Dre, yes. Denzel Washington, Whoa. John Travolta, there we Nelson go. Mandela, oh. and Robert Pattinson. I got to say, Nelson Mandela is probably my favorite from the list. But, yeah. you know, I'm proud to be a part of that club. Also, I just want to point out, I, I thought it was really funny as I was listing that off. Every time I said one, there was a different sound effect from Gabe. <laughs> those sound effects summed up my feelings for those people. Oh, I Who's see. the first person? Dr. Dre. Oh. See? It's kind of, it, and, it happens naturally. And the third person was uh, Denzel Washington, right? Uh, that Ooh. was the second one. Who was the third person then? Uh, third was John Travolta. Uh, oh. who, wait, who's the, uh, okay, who was the fourth? <laughs> the fourth was Nelson Mandela. Ah! Who's that? Does, like, that guy, does that guy even exist? What? <laughs> what are you talking I think, I think he's, he's making a joke Nelson about the Mandela, Mandela effect. effect. Oh my gosh. What effect? <laughs> We we changed we changed universes. Uh, Dylan came came from a universe where Nelson Mandela didn't exist. Who? <laughs> <laughs> okay, moving on. Uh, I'll go ahead and uh, list mine. Okay, okay. The ce- celebrities that I am the same height as are Black, George Lucas, Ben Stiller, Floyd Mayweather, Wow, and Joseph Stalin. Oh, oh, really saved the best for last there, didn't you? Kind of, kind of, I find it very funny that Jack Black and Joseph Stalin were the same height. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I never thought about that. <laughs> Who do you think would win in a fight? Just like a fist fight between the two. Oh, Jack Black. I think so too. 100%. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm glad we can all agree on that. We should, we should, you know, we should, we should set it up. We should uh, take the very, very late Joseph Stalin. And put him up against uh, Jack Black right now. Epic rap battles of history. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who would win the epic rap rap battle? Uh, I I don't know. I feel I I, I don't know. Because Stalin we'll, would we'll have some. That. He he would threaten. You know. You open the throw. He don't. But I feel like Jack Black would whip out his kung fu skills oh. previously being a panda yeah uh, of course. I, thought, I, I thought you were about to say something else i'm sorry yeah. he uh he has a lot more musical like talent he's actually a musician so i mean that would help his case yeah i mean like he was in this band that like fought the devil twice and yeah. he won twice yeah. just using this voice <laughs> like yeah who, who, very who can true. do that very true. I'm genuinely confused what you guys are talking about. I thought at first you were referring to uh, School of Rock, but when you brought the devil into the equation, I don't know what you're talking about. I thought about. he actually was in a band. Wasn't he a part of a, uh, like a duo Tenacious music? Tenacious D. Yeah, yeah. There you go. One of my, I like that band a lot. Yeah, there you go. So, yeah, he, he is actually musically talented. He can sing. I don't know if he can rap, but... Speaking of, of Jack Black, th- and this is just... A- of a, a random side thing but um has anybody seen like what he's been up to in the past year or two like, um the whole jablinski games thing he yeah. hasn't really been doing it a lot as of recently but i was like watching that stuff when he was doing the weekly uploads and they were great now did he start that because oh, of covid yeah okay. i think that's okay. the reason why and he, i guess he wanted to spend time with his kid more ah. but then it, but then it like completely derailed from that and the his kids stopped being involved as much so. really yeah, that sucks. Looking uh, at it right now. A... Jack. Okay, so now now we're at the point where I would have moved, or I would have done my third segment, but I don't really have one anymore. Oh, um, let's talk. You know what? Uh I, I think I can help save the day for you, Ben. Okay. Okay. Uh. Kind of, I, I've always found this interesting because, you know, before I became 
six or three like myself, I looked up a lot of like height stuff or whatever. And one thing that always fascinated me was just how tall people could get. And I think one of my one like do you guys all know who the tallest person in the world was? Um my dad. Yeah. Uh yeah, would you guys like do you get you, you guys want to say their name? Um I don't have the name on hand. Yeah, don't know. You do not know the name. His name was uh Robert Wadlow. Robert Wadlow. Okay. Yes, Robert Wadlow. Um I don't know. I he just oh, I he always like fascinated me because um it's just I don't I don't know how cuz he was like 8 foot 3 or 8 Ooh. foot 6. Wow. Now uh, like you know, I know for me as like someone who is 6 foot 3, like some places that I go into, it's kind of hard to navigate just because they were built for people who weren't my height yeah he'd but have to just duck, met he'd have to duck uh, under like every single doorway and even like in some buildings he'd have to duck down well it's like not even that too like he robert lot wadlow in this current day and age probably could not get into a car that mm-hmm. we normally drive he would barely fit into it if he, he, he probably couldn't even fit into it um Yeah, actually, you know, I don't really know where I was going with that. I just thought it was very interesting to bring up Robert Wadlow. Yeah, I mean, it, it, honestly, it's a curse at some point. I, okay, what height do you guys think it becomes a curse? Seven foot one. Seven foot one? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go lower than that. I'm going to say six foot five. I was actually going to say the same thing because yeah. my dad is that height, and um, he has he struggles a lot with like things like finding clothes and yeah. Um, public places it's just not fun yeah i think six foot um, five is kind of where it starts getting bad what about you ben um i don't know i actually i wouldn't have said that um because um well i think that when it comes to being that high oh, in some very specific places in life that could be a huge advantage um mm-hmm. have you guys heard of tyson fury i've not um i think i have heard of tyson fury before um, yeah, he's a, uh, he's a boxer, heavyweight boxer. And I think he, he, he's currently holding like several world championship belts. Whoa. Um, and I think he's six, nine, if I'm not mistaken. Wow. I, I could be wrong, but I think it's, it's somewhere way up there. And, uh, all I know is, is that guy leads a, a great life. Yeah. Um, I'm sure there are problems behind the scenes that I know nothing about, yeah. but, um, it just, I'm just bringing up a circumstance where I'm sure it could come in handy. Well, yeah. the reason why I say seven foot one, I think is like the actual limit is because I'm very much into professional wrestling yeah. and I, you know, some of the biggest wrestlers that you'll hear from that industry is like the big show, Andre, the giant people like that, especially Andre, the giant. And mm-hmm. those people suffer from a thing called giantism, which is why they became such huge people uh-huh. and i think robert wadlow suffered from the same exact thing but it gets to a point where once you do become anywhere beyond seven foot life becomes incredibly painful as um at least in the case of people with giantism their bones or whatever can't sustain the like constant growth that 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 a person is experiencing and so it becomes much harder to walk much harder to move around just to do any basic human activities like sure if someone who is like anywhere above six foot five will have some issues finding clothes or whatever like anyone beyond seven foot just won't be able to live a happy life i know most people i love sorry go ahead no 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 you go first a a lot of the tallest people um in the world have died very very young uh because Mm -hmm. of all the health issues so like not not only bones which is yeah totally bones they usually walk with a cane if they can walk their spine has a lot of issues um, and also their heart. Their heart usually has a lot of issues because it physically cannot pump blood to all of that body. Um, so, I, yeah, I think it's at a certain point, if you literally have giantism, it is a curse. Hmm. I, I haven't really heard of much um, <clears throat> like, you know, accommodation uh, and accessibility kind of things for people with giantism, but uh, I don't know if you you guys have seen things like this, but have you seen like houses that are completely redone for people who have dwarfism? 
I have. Um, I've heard of them. I've never like actually you know, seen one. Uh, but that's that's insane, and it's great. Yeah, I, I haven't seen one in person, but I've seen videos and like walkthroughs, um, and I think it's so cool. Like mm-hmm. it's just something that you don't really see, and then I don't know. It's just really neat. Yeah. And also, I remember. Sorry, go ahead. No, no, you go first. Okay, okay. Sorry, this will be quick. Uh, I, I like homes that also are like specially made for people in a wheelchair are also very cool to see because uh, it's like you know it's literally as easy as it can be for somebody who is wheel, wheel like in a wheelchair. Um, and yeah, just a lot of little things that you'd never think about have to be completely remade. Yeah, that would that would have to be life changing to yeah. to go from. Just like the regular world, that, and then if you needed a wheelchair, going to um, something like that—that that, that's got to be yeah. very relieving. Yes. Mm-hmm. Dylan. Oh no, I was just going to comment more and just like, you know, people who like suffer from dwarfism or another similar thing, like them just living in like those homes or like in homes modified for them. Mm-hmm. Vern Troyer is someone that I think I watched a YouTube video about where like he would, he literally guide like a camera crew around how he lives in his house, which is normally built for people that, you know, are our height or mm-hmm. whatever. And it's so interesting how like he's, he developed everything to accommodate around him and how easy it is because of just, you know, him always having to do that all the time. And it's something that I don't think I take, you know, I, I don't, I, I mean, it's like definitely I'm very happy with where I am, but I also take time to appreciate that I am l- very lucky as well because I don't know how like Vern Troyer was, was even able to do most mm-hmm. of the stuff that he did. It's really fascinating to me. Determination, man. People, people grow up with that kind of thing and they just, they learn to adapt and it's, <clears throat> it's, it's really cool to see. I mean, it, it, it you know, you, you, you wish, that things were easier for everybody, no matter what they look like or no matter, you know, how tall they are. Um, but even driving a car, uh, ha- there has to be like a lot of accommodation for people of different heights. Uh, there are a lot of cars that tall people can't even buy. Like we talked about that because they're just not like they, they physically cannot fit in them, like a lot of sports cars. Um, so it's insane. Right. I was actually watching something about Shaquille O'Neal getting all his cars, like, like basically modified Whoa. Like professionally modified purely so he could sit in them. <laughs> wow. All right. Well, um, are you guys ready for uh, some weird news? I think oh. I'm ready for some weird news. I am ready for some weird news. Uh, only one story today, guys. Uh, and it is, as always, straight from the Associated Press. And I will link them below. All right. An American tourist has to be rescued, had to be rescued on Mount Vesuvius near Naples after he accidentally slipped into the Italian volcano's crater while trying to recover his fallen cell phone, news reports, and the Association of Vesuvius Park guides said. Uh, so how do you guys think he slipped and fell in from, from like, how do you think his phone got in there? Um, selfie. Okay. Selfie. And any other guesses? You said um, it, it slipped in the crack of what? Uh, at Mount Vesuvius, the, the volcano that uh, erupted and uh, ki- like caused you know that whole Pompeii thing in seventy nine AD. Oh wait, you, you didn't specify that. Yeah, Mount Vesuvius is what what? Yeah, it's Pompeii. Are, they, are you talking about a guy who was in seventy nine? No, 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 no. He didn't or, have a phone back then. No, no, he dropped his phone. Okay, <laughs> I don't know. Why, I don't know why I got so confused by that. He dropped his iPhone seven. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, okay. Yeah, you're right, Dylan. He wanted to take a selfie. The tourist and family members were cited by, oh, I'm going to butcher this, Carabinieri police because they went uh, they went off the authorized path to get closer to the crater on Saturday afternoon, apparently to take a selfie, the La Presse news agency said. Uh, the head of the, oh my gosh, guys, I'm so sorry, Italians. The Confessarcenti Tourism Association for Vesuvius, Paolo Capelli, said four volcano guides responded immediately after one noticed the tourist had fallen into the crater and was in serious difficulty. That's in quotes. In a statement, Capelli said the guides lowered a rope 15 meters, 50 feet into the crater, pulled the tourist out and provided an initial first aid after he suffered abrasions on his legs, arm and back. 
uh, Carabinieri Park Police uh, then arrived and brought the American, of course he was an American, to the police (laughs) station to file the complaint, Capelli said. So he uh, wanted to take a selfie. He could have died. 50 feet? That's so easy to die. (laughs) But he, I think he got out of that really lucky for for what a stupid, you know, stupid decision that was. Did he get the selfie? That's a great question, actually. <laughs> I, I had, I'd have to imagine no because he dropped it like a dunce. I don't know. Wait, wasted opportunity. You know how many Instagram likes I could have gotten? Yeah, <laughs> it would have all been worth it for the clout. Twelve, <laughs> but. <laughs> Honestly, but there are so many cool photo ops in Pompeii. Are you kidding me? But you have to go to the top of the volcano and take a selfie. I, that's so stupid. I will never understand that. All right, Gabe. Thank you very much. That was some very weird news. Yes. Uh, very interesting. Um, honestly, guys, I, I think I'm craving a drug fact from Gunner. Ooh. Yes. Okay, so... Um, This drug fact is inspired by a situation that came up today in the pharmacy. So uh, someone had came up to the pharmacy and um, they had a a fungal infection. And I was like, man, I wish we had stuff for fungal infections. And we sure do. We have all sorts of uh, things for fungal infections. So uh, this particular fungal infection was in the lady parts and i think you guys are knowing what i'm referring I and this just... might be a little gross but there is actually a solution if oh. uh if anybody ever has a fungal infection down there they can go into the pharmacy and they can grab something called monostat gel and it will it's an antifungal that will actually take care of that and if you continue to have prolonged issues with it Get in contact with your doctor and request a antifungal called fluconazole, and that will take care of it uh, just fine. Awesome! All right, go ahead. genuinely, Thank you very yeah, much. that's awesome. <laughs> Hopefully, yep. that will help somebody out there. Yes, definitely. It, it helps several people a day. <laughs> wow! All right, all right. Um, Dylan, do you have a Roblox game to talk about today? Well, the Roblox game I have as a recommendation for today is something that is the second installment in a for a very popular game that used to be well that used to be popular on Roblox back when I was younger, like in the 2012s, 2013s. Mm-hmm. Um, this game is called Apocalypse Rising 2. Mm-hmm. It's pretty much the I mean, it's a more new and improved version of the original Apocalypse Rising game where you pretty much survive to fight zombies and other enemy players that are trying to survive in this, you know, apocalyptic world. Um it's a very fun game, and it just became free on Roblox. It, used, it was a paid game for the longest time, and I've played it many times before, and I'm now very glad that it's free for all to play. So if you love zombie survival games, Apocalypse Rising 2 is one of the best Roblox has to offer right now. That sounds nice. really fun. All right. Good stuff. All okay. Right. Are you guys ready for the car fact of the day? I am ready for the car fact of the day. Always. Okay. So the first thing I wrote was just Elon Musk sucks so bad. And then I uh, realized that I couldn't just say that. Um, so Elon Musk did not found Tesla. Uh, everybody, he's the CEO of Tesla. Everybody thinks he had something to do with its founding. He was just a very early and very generous investor. Like he, he, he invested more than anybody else into the company. Uh, and he was able to legally claim he was a founder. Uh, he had a minor oversight over the Tesla Roadster, which was Tesla's first vehicle, but he wasn't like super involved. It was a group of engineers that really founded it back in 2003. Uh, so in conclusion, Elon Musk sucks so bad. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I wonder where he, where did he get his money from to begin with? Then? He, he was involved with PayPal. Um, he helped like oh. PayPal. And then uh, I think he got like a hundred million bucks from, from selling that or something. Um, and then he used a lot of that money to invest into Tesla. Okay. Hmm. Well, you guys heard it here. Elon Musk sucks so bad. So bad. 
so bad. <laughs> I, it'd be okay if he sucks so good, but he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. All right, gentlemen. I think you know what time it is. Oh, the best worst part of the show yes. already? Ooh. All right. Uh, if you guys don't know what, uh, well, this is this is one of the odds. Uh, I don't think we ever actually said that. But uh, one of the odds is a combination of a dare and a bet. Uh, one person dares another person to do a dare. And then the other person sets their own odds by setting a number. The higher the number, the less likely they are to have to do it. Uh, somebody else counts three, two, one, and then the two people involved, the person who said the dare and the person who set the odds, say a number between one and the number they set. And if you guys both say the same number, you have to do it. And in this show, if none of us hit, we do a descending odds, which is pretty self-explanatory. You'll get it. All right. Who wants to start us off? I um, can go. Okay. All right. You go, Gunner. Okay. Dylan. Hi. What are the odds that you go to the nearest open McDonald's <laughs> and order five cheeseburgers and five more, more cheeseburgers? cheeseburgers. <laughs> <laughs> and record yourself while doing it. So, of course. Just, no. Oh, my God. That is really funny, but I don't know if I want ten che- five. five I, don't, I don't know if I want five cheeseburgers and five more, more cheeseburgers. cheeseburgers. <laughs> <laughs> um, would I be able to postpone this to uh, possibly a time we'd all be together, or do you guys want it specifically tonight? Because I'm fine with either or. I prefer tonight, just so I can put it in the episode. You got it. All right, yeah. cool. So I will say thirty six. Okay, I'll count down. Three, right. two, one. Nine, four. Ooh, okay. not quite. Okay. <laughs> I'll go next. Um, let's see. Ben. Yes. What are the odds that for the next podcast you have to pick six words and you can only say those six words the entire podcast? <laughs> Wow. So like yes, oh, wow. no, maybe, I don't know, you know, then you're out. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, um I'm going to say 30. Okay. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> okay. 3 2 1 22. Ten. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Um I like to go next. Of Gunner. Course. Yeah. So what are the odds that for the rest of this podcast episode and five minutes into the next, whatever you say, it has to rhyme. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, who's counting us down? You didn't say a number. You didn't say a number. 15. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Didn't cool. <laughs> it must have not registered. My bad. No, you're good. Uh, I'll count you down. All right. Three, two, one. Six. Six. Oh. Six and two? <laughs> yup. Okay. And then do we have one more? Yep. I believe uh, it's... Yeah, that's me. Gabe. Yes? You've heard of the Chubby Bunny Challenge, right? Oh, my oh, God. Oh, I sure have. <laughs> what are the odds that for the first 20 minutes of the next <laughs> podcast... 20 minutes? <laughs> The first 20 minutes, you have to have your entire cheeks st- with marshmallows. Stuffed with marshmallows? Yeah. Oh, no. Okay. I'm going to say 20. <laughs> okay. Three, two, one. Three. 17. Oh, oh, if it was Canada, uh, we'd, have to, we'd have to do it again. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> All right. Dang. You boys know what that means. We have to elect one as the descending odds. Th- there was a lot of good ones. There were. I think all of them were really good. I think they were all really good too. So we've got um, the six words, the chubby bunny, the f- five cheeseburgers, and five <laughs> more cheeseburgers. <laughs> what was the last one? Was What am I missing? Rhyming. Uh, 
Rhyming, yeah. yeah. Rhyming. Uh, rhyming. I'm going to yeah. say Actually. the only one I don't absolutely don't want is the cheeseburgers one just because the nearest open McDonald's is like 20 minutes away from me and I need to edit this tonight and then go to bed. <laughs> yeah, enough. and I got to get up at 7 a.m. So yeah. I'd like to go to bed at soon as yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, to be fair, that would, that odds were really just meant for me. because. <laughs> <That, laughs> Um, I will, I honestly like the six words one. That one's really I'm, funny. I I hate to vote for my own, but yeah, I I also am good with the six words. I good to me. Oh, okay. So that means confirmed. So, somebody next episode is gonna have to choose six words on this podcast to say for the entirety of the episode next episode. Wait, what if we give it a little bit of a twist? Okay. The other three people have to choose two words for that person. Oh god, two, two out of the six. Yeah, yes. That's why. I, that's why I want to do it because I'd love to choose the. I love to choose okay. some of the words. Oh, that'd be so bad because I'm hosting next episode, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. No. 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 Yes. Yes. No. Maybe <laughs> sharks. <laughs> I'm Dylan. <laughs> 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 Oh gosh. Okay. Yeah. Let's do six words. We'll have to figure out something if it goes on me. I don't know what we're going to do, but <laughs> okay. Um, I'll start with a number. I'll say, I'll start us off at uh 50. Okay. Okay. Who's All willing right. to say the number? I'll say it. Okay. I'll count you guys down. Three, two, one, 30, 47. Okay. No. All right. I will bring it down to 45. I'll say the number. Okay. Three, two, one. 41. Okay. Okay. I will bring it down to 40. Okay. I'll count down. Three, two, one. 12. Oh. Okay. All right. I'm going to bring it down to 20. I knew you were going to say that. I'll say say it with you. I'll say it with you. Three. Two, one, nine, three. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh. you guys are in trouble. <laughs> Is it my turn? Yup. I'll take it down to 15. Oh, okay. I'll say the number with you. Okay. Okay. Three, two, one, nine, five. Oh, Ooh. All right. I'll bring it down to eight. Okay. Ooh, okay. All right. Okay. Three. Who's saying the number? I'll say the center? number. Okay. Three, two, one, five, six. Oh no, that was close. That was close. I will say, <laughs> I will say five. Oh, okay. Three, wow. three, two, one, three, five. Oh, wow, my God. guys. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Okay, I, Ben, Ben, please. I don't. I will bring it down to four. Okay. Okay. I'll say the number with you, Ben. Okay. Three, three two, one. One. Three. Oh, God. If it was Kim, then we'd add it up. Three. <laughs> yeah, just say three. Three. I'll count okay. it down. All right. I'll say, the number, say the number. I'll say the number. Okay. Three, two, one. One. Three. Oh, I almost <laughs> said three, two. Oh. oh I'm going to say two. <laughs> wait, okay. does, wait, does that mean if I if it doesn't hit, it goes to me? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Right, I'll say the number. Who's going to count us down? You, you can take it, Dylan. Oh, my God. Okay. Three, <laughs> two, one. 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 Oh, <laughs> yes. Oh, my gosh. Oh, all right. We never explained something. We were supposed to explain something about an odds. Oh, yeah. We all oh my. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so uh, Gunner, do you want to explain first? I don't know what I'm explaining. The milk. Uh, the, milk. the milk odds. Yes. Oh, yeah. So um, I. I <laughs> couple of podcasts ago i lost a odds uh where i would have to drink um a half gallon of milk right before the podcast yeah yeah. 
Anyways, problem was is I forgot to grab milk before this podcast, so it's getting postponed to next episode. Yes. So next episode, Gunner will have to say only six words that we choose, two of us each, and he'll also have to drink a half gallon of milk. Okay. Uh, my <laughs> first word for him is going to be milk. <laughs> um. <laughs> Wait, let me let me write all these down. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, we need to have them saved somewhere for reference. <laughs> okay. All right. So you got milk written down? Yeah. Yep. All right. Um, I'll I'll choose the next word. I say, um, cool. <laughs> cool milk. Cool and then and then does Gunner get to decide the last four? No, I thought it was two of us for for Gabe. Yeah, me, so and ben. ben chooses another word. Okay, and then okay. But then we but then we choose our final words. Oh, okay. Um, I'm going to say Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my second word is dead. <laughs> um okay my final word is going to be cute <laughs> cute dead okay. milk jeremy and, uh does that mean one more word yep, yes from you, then. You, have the you get the last one okay uh i'm gonna i'm gonna give you a word that you can actually use i'm gonna say no good one I can't say yes, though. <laughs> <laughs> what am I going to do for what are the odds? I was going to say, he can obviously say numbers um, to an extent. He can't replace his speech with numbers. Um, yeah. So, so it, let's say, you know, you lose another odds and, you know, you, you hit. You can't, like, be like, oh, darn it. You just got to use your vocabulary. Milk. You to do. Yeah. Jeremy. <laughs> Wait, what are we going to do for the drug fact? <laughs> <laughs> I, have a, I have a drug fact for you guys today. Uh, milk, dead Jeremy. Uh, cool. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, I feel bad for you, Gunner. All right. Maybe we can make an exception for the drug yeah, fact. I mean, like, no, to, to be fair, if it was any other one of us, one of our segments would have been the exact same. That's true. That's very true. If it, if it was me in my Roblox game, I'd have to recommend cool milk, Jeremy. <laughs> We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. All right. So who is going to be the next person to host an episode? I am going to be the next host of the episode. And um, my teaser is that uh, Gunner will relate very, very well to this next topic. So I, we're talking about Jeremy. Yeah. <laughs> I, eventually. Yeah. At some point in the episode, we will. But uh, yeah, Gunner might know this one a little bit too well by the time we record it. Okay. Uh, All right. We we got to close the episode out. We're 52 minutes into this. Oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> yes, we do. Yikers. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Full right. circle. <laughs> Thank you so much, everybody, for listening to this episode. Please uh, check us out on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, yeah. and YouTube. Give us a um, like and rate, please. It goes way further than you ever know. Absolutely. And I'm going to say one more time. Just uh, in reference to our intro and outro theme, please go check out Dippo May and all of his very good music. Wait, I, right. I hear some right now. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, wow. My, very name's, nice. my name's Gabriel. I'm Ben. I'm Dylan. And I'm Gunner. Bye. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>